Hey guys, welcome back. If you are someone who believes that a red lip should always be perfect, then you have definitely come to the right place. First off, I'm going to start by scrubbing my lips because I don't want any flakiness on the lips because flaky lips can make the red lipstick look terrible. Just wiping that off with a clean wet wipe and you can also scrub your lips with a toothbrush. You don't have to have a lip scrub. Next, it's extremely important to moisturize your lips before applying any lip product. So I'm applying my regular balm and then blotting off the excess oils on a tissue paper. So you want to make sure that your lips are hydrated but matte at the same time. Now it's time to add a little bit of foundation over your lips and then blend it out with the rest of your face and then setting it with a powder as usual. Lip liners are extremely important when you're wearing a super bright and bold lip color. So here I'm using a red lip liner by NYX. And what I do is I like to start at the center and then connect the line outwards. And what this does is it provides a guideline as to where you're going to apply your red lipstick. So it makes the process of applying red lipstick much more easier. But I also like to fill in my entire lips with the lip liner because this is not only going to act as a guideline but it's also going to really make your red lipstick stand out. It's going to make it extremely vibrant and also it's going to increase the longevity of the lipstick. It's going to make it super long lasting. For the upper lip, I like to draw the cupid's bow first and then move on to the outer corners. And yeah, it's extremely important that you do not forget the outer corners, line your outer corners as well. Alright, so now it's time for the lipstick and if you want, you can always go ahead and apply it with a brush but I find uh, going straight from the bullet much more easier now that I have a proper guide to my lip line. And since I prefer my red lips to be matte any day, I'm going to go ahead and blot it with a tissue paper and this is not only going to keep it matte but it's also going to make it long lasting. And then I repeat the same process one more time. And you can totally head out like that but if you're a bit of a perfectionist then I would suggest going in with a concealer and then cleaning out all the edges. You want that edge to be extremely sharp and well defined so adding a bit of a concealer is really going to help. And next I like to add some highlighter to the cupid's bow that is the upper portion of my lips because it just kind of plumps up the upper lip. Now I'm going to show you a simple trick to keep that lipstick away from your teeth. It looks terrible on your teeth. So just take your clean finger and suck on it like so. And all the lipstick that was supposed to go on your teeth lands up on your fingers. So this is an extremely helpful tip if you like wearing bright bold colors. Finally, to set your lipstick, you can either go ahead and dab some translucent powder on your lips or you can take a lipstick sealer. You just need to glide it over your lipstick and it's going to ensure that your lipstick lasts all day. And don't worry, it dries matte. And voila, you have perfect red lips that will last you the entire day, entire night. And it's totally non-transferable and kiss-proof. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!